Hey everyone, I am going to talk today about how losing my voice actually taught me how to become a better communicator. You can still hear I'm a little raspy and it's, it's still a good reminder for me because uh, what happened is that over a week I was in Haiti and I was speaking at the Haiti Tech Summit and it was amazing. I was able to give uh, a keynote on ditching the act and if you didn't know, I've got a book that's coming out called Ditch the Act. You can get it on Amazon or Barnes & Noble. And while I was out there, <laughs> I not only gave my Ditch the Act keynote, but I also did the 313 keynote. And uh, before I got on the stage and after I got off the stage, I had so many what I'm going to call conversational keynotes. And there were so many people who I had individual conversations with, almost like they were little mini talks. There were mini keynotes. And it was hot, and there were bug bites, and I was sweaty, uh, and it was amazing, and half the time there's music going on. So I talked probably for three to four days pretty nonstop. And that combined with the heat, probably combined with a few rum sours, probably combined with being in the ocean and talking, it all combined to where I straight up lost my voice. And I can't remember the last time that I really lost my voice like this. And I had a three-day period where I was recovering and getting my voice back and it's still coming back right now so I'm still trying to nurture it but it's given me a whole new appreciation for my voice and it's made me really double down on something that I've said before and I will say it again and the concept is the more you talk the less people listen and the less you talk the more people ask questions and when people ask questions it leads to curiosity and then when people are curious, then it creates conversation. And when there's conversation, then there creates connection. And when you're connecting with somebody, most likely it means that they're the one that's talking. <laughs> and if you think about this in practical terms, what it, what it translates to is a way to learn to become a better communicator by communicating less. And if you don't have your voice, if you physically can't speak, <laughs> it's a great exercise in practice to make sure that you are listening, 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 <laughs> and then talking. So it's easy to talk about it and it's hard to practice it, but I had a situation over the last few days where I had no choice. And when I would listen, 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 and then muster up all my strength to say the few words that I could put together, what happens is that those, those words became more relevant. In fact, they became more profound. And so the less you say, the more profound you become. And this is pretty counterintuitive, but if you think about it, it makes sense. Imagine the people that you're talking with and they just talk, 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 talk. Or friends that you know that talk, 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 talk. A lot of it's just sort of in one ear and out the other because they're always saying something else. But think about the quiet friend or the friend who's a bit more introverted and they listen and then once they speak up, you're like, oh, that's brilliant or that's a good idea. So losing my voice has not only reinforced that the less I talked, the more people would ask questions. It reinforced the goal of listening more to connect more. It made me realize that the less I said, the more people seemed to listen to the specific thing that I said. And really it all comes down to the fact that if you wanna be a better leader, then you have to understand that leaders listen. And <laughs> my favorite type of advice is hiding in plain sight. It's like. It's like right there. It's like this blue Sharpie marker that you're right in front of me. And sometimes you don't realize the power of it because it's right there. It's right in front of you. And so for people who want to become better leaders, for people who want to become better speakers, it's easy to say you should improve your speaking skills. It's easy to say you should improve your leadership skills. It's not so easy to say become a better listener because becoming a better listener makes you bite your tongue. And there were so many times over the last three days where I was in conversations with people where I couldn't participate. <laughs> and it made me realize of 
all the things that I normally would say. It's like I would think of something and I would normally say it, but because I didn't have my voice, I didn't have the chance to say it. And uh, it was it was very scary almost because I'm like, what if I just couldn't talk anymore? And then I took it to the next step and I said, what if I just try to talk less and listen more? And it's a great real reminder that losing your voice can help you become a better communicator. And what I'm going to do moving forward is not only think more actively about listening, which I, I still actively think about listening, but at the same time, I'm going to remind myself that there is power in not speaking and remind myself of how I lost my voice as a reminder because the feelings, the emotions, the things I went through not being able to communicate uh, really left an impression and the conversations that I had were actually good because I let people talk more. If you think about conversation, uh, I sometimes think about it as how involved, how much involvement you have in it. And in my fourth TEDx talk, I talk about the power of the pause. Pausing, so powerful. Uh, and you have to ask yourself, are you a pauser or are you a pouncer? <laughs> and losing my voice made me pause a lot more, a lot more often. And sometimes in conversations, we don't feel like we have control, especially when we're with somebody who's talkative. But you actually do have control. And that control comes by a very particular reality, is that control is knowing that you don't have control. And of course, I think about this in terms of sailing as well. You know, you can't control the wind. You can control your boat. Uh, if we're talking about communication, you can control what happens in your mind. And so you can't control what somebody else is saying, but you can 100% control what you're saying. And you can also control the time you choose to take before you choose to speak. So even though you might not have lost your voice, I'm going to encourage you to pretend <laughs> that you've lost your voice and see what kind of an impact that makes from a communication standpoint, because it will allow you to talk less. What you say will most likely become more profound. Uh, oftentimes that will increase trust in a conversation because we have a tendency to not trust people when they talk a lot. And when you talk less, people will likely trust you more. And if you want to say less, what you say will probably be more profound. And if you do want to be a better leader, learn to listen. Because you don't have control over the conversation, you have control over your vocation. And remember, the more you talk, the less people listen. And the less you talk, the more people ask questions. And questions will create curiosity. Curiosity will create conversation. Conversation will create connection. And this all fits into just uh, essentially becoming more comfortable with what you say and with what you don't say. And this is something that, uh, that I'm excited about because uh, it's something that we talk about in Ditch the Act. Let me try this here. All right, I thought it was going to cover my face. Uh, if you want to check out Ditch the Act, I also give my public speaking tips and how to make eye contact with the camera. That's a whole chapter. And in there, I talk about some of the principles I talked about here today. But there you go. If you want to learn how to become a better communicator, uh, think about the reality of losing your voice. Because at the end of the day, you can control what you can't control by knowing that you can't control it. And I wasn't able to control my voice, but now I'm more conscious of my ability to control it. And that can directly lead to more connection with more people. And that is why losing my voice has helped me become a better communicator. I don't hope that you lose your voice, but I hope that you take some of these lessons. You speak less, you will become more profound, you listen more, and you understand that leadership is about listening. Okay, I'm out of here.